I, I've just got the, the two are in surgery. Uh, we don't know their conditions, and uh, uh, six are in stable condition. There are a total of eleven. Three dead, eight shot. Eight shot. Correct. Yeah, updated from the last time we were here. Correct. Um, do you know if there's surveillance video in the school that might assist? There is a lot. This school district does a great job with cameras. There are multiple cameras that detectives are going to have to go through and, and search. How is the FBI assisting? They're here to give us all the support we need. Uh, as you know, uh, uh, the uh, special agent in charge Waters was here earlier, and uh, the they will give us technical assistance in terms of, you know, we've got social media searches, we have potential cell phones. There are 1,800 students that go to this high school, okay? I'm not saying all 1,800 were here today, but we have to interview each and every one if they have any knowledge whatsoever. Do you have any information on the makeup of the 11 entered between teachers and students? You know? One teacher, the rest are students. Oh, under Sheriff, I assume that you're also looking for information from the public, anybody who's had contact with this young man or anybody. So why don't you make your plea to the public? Well, yeah, please, if anybody has any information, you can call the Sheriff's Dispatch Center at 248-858-4911. That's 248-858-4911. What kind of information are you looking for from the public? To any information they may have. You know. If they've heard, if they know anything at all about this young man or what was going to happen or what happened today, they can call us. My heart goes out to the families. This is an unimaginable tragedy. Uh, I hope that we can all rise to the occasion and wrap our arms around the families, the affected children and school personnel, um, and this community. It is um, an unimaginable uh, tragedy and just um, I just wanted to be here because I think this is a an important moment for us to support one another to support this community and um, I want to thank our first responders again